Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome two-time Super Bowl champion from the Miami Dolphins, celebrating the 50th anniversary of his MVP performance at Super Bowl VIII, Hall of Fame fullback Larry Zonka, and the Vince Lombardi Trophy. Celebrating the 25th anniversary of his MVP performance at Super Bowl 33, two-time Super Bowl champion from the Denver Broncos, Hall of Fame quarterback John Elway. Wow, an epic Super Bowl for an epic season. Thank you, Las Vegas. Clark, to you and your family, to this great organization, to Coach Reed and this incredible football team. Make some more room in that trophy closet, would you please? This is the first time a team is repeated in almost 20 years in the NFL. Tough to do. The Chiefs are Super Bowl champs. As the commissioner said, back to back and three here in just the last few years, we call that a dynasty. What does that mean to you? Well, first of all, I want to congratulate Andy, the football team, our coaching staff on an incredible performance. And it's been an amazing five year run. I want to thank the Lord for giving us this opportunity. Watching today's game, I couldn't help but think about my parents and how proud they would be of this football team. At their heart, they were the biggest Chiefs fans in the world, and they would love celebrating another world championship with the best fans in the NFL, Chiefs Kingdom. I know you feel your parents' presence here tonight. Congratulations, Clark, to this amazing victory. What a game it was. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Jim. Kudos to the team. What an incredible performance. One of the most thrilling Super Bowls I've ever seen. How about you pass off this uh, trophy to Andy Reid. <laughs> Andy, you had to come back from 10 points down again, and then you had all this pressure of having to tie the game late in the fourth quarter, down three in overtime. How did this team pull it off? Well, there was no doubt. I mean, the guys were great. Uh, defense played out of their mind. Uh, how about that D, baby? Our defense played great, and then the O just kept persevering and pushing and pushing and pushing and did a great job. I'm so proud of the whole group. Special teams jumped up in there and dominated right at the end there. It was beautiful. For your legendary career, what does this title mean to you, this one specifically? Man, I don't know, but I'm going to celebrate it with these people right here, man. Hey, on three, one, two, three. How about those Chiefs? How about you grab this thing before it topples over and let's bring in Patrick Mahomes. I don't know. There was a lot of tension in this building, but you're used to coming back from double digits down, and you did it today. Tell us about that winning drive and how this team held it together, composure and all. Um, I, really, just the whole game was uh, just kind of our whole, our whole entire season. It was the defense just keeping us in there, um, and then the offense making plays when it counted. And then, of course, Harrison Bucker hitting from about 70. So it's um, it was a microcosm of our whole season. I'm just proud of the guys. They kept believing. Um, and, I'm, and I'm proud of the coaches for calling up those plays. They got us some touchdowns there at the end. You know, you go on and win the championship, being the underdog the last three games in the playoffs. Maybe a lesson learned for everybody else out there in the future. 
Yeah, just know that the Kansas City Chiefs are never underdogs. Just know that. I know it means the world to have Brittany and your children up here, Sterling and Bronze, to share this as a family and with your Chiefs family, too. Yeah, it means the world. Just um, the, the whole family of Kansas City and Chiefs Kingdom is special. Um, Brittany's a great, a great wife with two great kids. I can't ask for anything better than this. Man. We're Super Bowl champs, Kansas City. I'll see y'all uh, at the parade. Let's do it, baby. Uh, that's parade's coming up. Congratulations. <laughs> Chiefs Kingdom! Y'all hear this? We've been fighting for all right all day. How about a little Viva Las Vegas? Viva Las Vegas! Viva! Viva Las Vegas! <laughs> hey, Elvis never had it better than that right there. Let me tell you, to win this one when we met a couple of days ago, you know, you said, and I'm not looking ahead, but we got a lot more we want to do here, baby. You oh, said yeah. we want we want a three-peat. How about that? Well, you know, the goal's always been to get three. But we couldn't get here without getting the two and having that target on our back all year. And I love these guys right here. The men that we just won this thing with, family forever, baby. I couldn't be more proud of you guys. And how about it? We get a chance to do it three times in a row. How do you get excited for that, baby? You go party in Las Vegas and get back to it. Hey, you still got to fight for your right, don't you? You got to fight for your right. <laughs> Believe it, baby. I'll see y'all next year. Thank you, Travis. Congratulations to the entire Kansas City Chief organization. Uh, hey, Nicole Hardman. You scored the Super Bowl winning touchdown, man. Yeah. What does that feel like? Man, it feel great. I'm telling you, I blacked out when I caught the ball, though. So, um, but it feel awesome. Well, listen, take that and go celebrate with the rest of your teammates. There it is. The trophy's in the hands of the Chiefs. Once again, let's go back to JB. It is Norma Hunt, right? She passed away this year. All right, thank you. All right, Jim. Well, the Chiefs aren't the only ones celebrating. Bud Light hosted its biggest Super Bowl ticket giveaway ever. And these fans here tonight, folks, they got to enjoy the sweet taste of victory. Cheers and congratulations to the Super Bowl 58 champion, Kansas City Chiefs. And look here, Steve Wilkes' defense of San Francisco kept Patrick Mahomes guessing most of the night, but time ran out. The thing about him is the nuanced brilliance that he brings to the game. The year wasn't spectacular by any stretch of the imagination for him personally, statistical wise. But when the big matters came, or the big moments came, he mattered. And he mattered in all of these playoff games, just like the Chiefs defense did. Norma Hunt was a massive female figure for the Chiefs organization and for the NFL as a whole. For them to go out there this year after her passing and win this Super Bowl in that Chiefs uniform with her initials on their uniform, that's something special. And I know the Hunt family is extremely proud. I know we want to talk about football right now, but as I look at Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift, We've been talking about the relationship all year long. That right there is special. That woman is damn near in tears. Travis is emotional. That's real love. That's what you can get when you have the good support of a woman behind you. He has had one hell of a season. In the playoff run that he had,